A muscle up is a popular and coveted skill in the world of bodyweight fitness. On the surface, it's a simple motion that consists of a pull up into a dip, but those who train the move understand its hidden subtleties. When learning the skill, there are two options, a bar or gymnastics rings. Each presents its own set of challenges in terms of physical criteria and required techniques. Learning on each equipment also offers its own unique benefits. This video will compare the bar muscle up versus the ring muscle up and weigh the pros and cons of pursuing each type. When you compare the two side by side, you can quickly see a few distinctions. Speed. The ring muscle up is performed at a slower pace than the bar muscle up. In fact, it feels more natural to learn the ring muscle up in a static and controlled manner, while learning the bar muscle up requires more momentum. Body motion. The bar muscle up creates a unique C curve with the body. Ring muscle ups are typically done with the body rising vertically. Lean. Ring muscle ups are done with a deep forward lean, utilizing all the space between the rings. Bar muscle ups have minimal lean due to the bar acting as a barrier. To circumvent this obstacle, we use the C-curve body motion to get around the bar. Generally speaking, you need more raw strength to do a ring muscle up than a bar muscle up. This is mostly due to the static nature of the ring muscle up, plus the inherent instability of the rings. Strength requirements include a chest to rings pull up and a full range dip. On the flip side, the bar muscle up has a higher demand for power and explosiveness. This is because you have to generate a bit of momentum to effectively get around the bar. Of course, you can do a slow and static bar muscle up, often called a strict muscle up, but that is a very advanced version of the skill. The main technical component of learning a ring muscle up is the false grip. This is a specific type of grip where the rings rest on the inside of your wrists. The false grip allows us to transition between the pull up to the dip without having to roll over our wrists. Without it, the ring muscle up would be near impossible to do. Standard bar muscle ups on the other hand do not require a false grip. Since the bar is stable and fixed, it makes it easier to roll your wrist when transitioning in the top position. I personally use an open grip without the thumb wrapped to create a smoother and natural wrist roll. The C-curve technique is what makes the bar muscle up accessible to most people without a heavy strength criteria. A simple breakdown of this motion shows the extension of the legs in the front, followed by a natural swing back behind the bar before pulling around and over the bar. The more you can master this technique, the less you actually need to rely on strength to do the muscle up. So which of these two skills offers the best returns? Let's compare the benefits side by side. The ring muscle up is a strength based exercise, while the bar muscle up is mostly power based. The instability of the rings and the static nature of its muscle up targets your slow twitch muscle fibers and stabilizer muscles. The fixed position of the bar and the explosiveness required to get around it helps you build your fast twitch muscle fibers. Ring muscle ups have the benefit of a full range dip great for building the chest and developing shoulder extension mobility. The dip range of a bar muscle up is far less effective. The technical aspect of the bar muscle up is a great tool for helping build coordination and timing, a very useful aspect of most sports. Applied to climbing, the ring muscle up may be more useful for routes that require core tension, locking off, and static pulling. Conversely, the bar muscle up can be more useful for powerful boulder problems that have dynamic movements. My path with these two skills involved first learning the bar muscle up and then transitioning to the rings. Once I began training on rings, the natural accessibility of other skills, usually done in a flow, is what kept me on the rings. 
Whatever you decide to do, it's a good idea to become familiar with both skills, and then tweak accordingly depending on what you're actually training for. I hope you enjoy the video, and until next time, move better, climb harder. One more, one more. <laughs>